This year's Butterfly Festival is happening tomorrow over at the Springfield Botanical Gardens. And here with all the details are Gage Rudick and Dr. Chris Barnhart. Guys, thanks for being here. How are you both? Glad to be here. Doing well, good. Thanks for being here. Really excited to have you. Okay, so let's just get to the details real fast. Yeah. What is the Butterfly Festival, Gage, and what do people need to know? So the Butterfly Festival is a celebration of all things pollinator at the Springfield Botanical Gardens. Okay. So we're going to have lots of educational vendors. The Butterfly House is going to be open, and we're going to have a lot of, uh, we're going to have a caterpillar petting zoo out there. Okay. Um, we'll be joined by um, vendors like the Dickerson Park Zoo, yes. uh, Missouri Prairie Foundation, uh, Wonders of Wildlife, the Discovery Center, many other ones, as well as other vendors who will be selling wares too. And we're just going to be out there celebrating all things pollinators and celebrating the Butterfly House and just getting people out there to enjoy the park. Yeah. Tomorrow from uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., come on out and we'll okay. have entertainment lineup and and uh, Chris can kind of tell you what to expect at the at the Butterfly House. Okay, oh, my perfect. kids love yeah, the Butterfly I know. House. I was going to ask real fast: Do people need yeah. tickets to this event? Nope, it is a free event. Okay, perfect. All right, so Dr. Barnhart, tell us what you brought in today and what we need to know. Oh, I brought some specimens from the Butterfly House. Okay, and uh, even though the event is free, I do want to mention that the vendors provide financial support, and we really appreciate that. It helps us to operate yeah. the Butterfly House and keep it free, but. Uh, the Butterfly House is uh, our effort to put these charismatic insects, charismatic animals in front of people. And our message is one of ecology. It's also uh, a plant house. Uh, it's not like your typical commercial butterfly house, which only displays tropical butterflies and not their life cycle. We have local butterflies and they're doing their thing. They're laying eggs, they're producing caterpillars, making more butterflies and moths. And they can't do that without native plants. Okay. So we brought an example. Love this. Of wow. a native plant here. Okay. So what is this exactly? This is a cutting of a native tree called pawpaw. Pawpaw. And it's a fruit tree. And you can see it does have some fruits on it, but mm -hmm. these are immature. They'll be about the size of goose eggs by the wow. end of the summer. Okay. And it's not a fruit that you'll ever see in grocery stores because it's only ripe for two or three days. Ah. But it's delicious. Okay, good to know. All right. And besides being uh, useful in that respect, it's also the only host for a particularly nice little butterfly here called the zebra swallowtail. Wow. You want to hold out your Oh, whoa. Yeah. And there, with any luck. Look at that thing. How pretty. Is a zebra swallowtail. Now, people yeah, in the Ozarks may be familiar with this if they live near places where there are pawpaws. You're huh. a natural. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like a butterfly tamer right now. You are. Yeah. You're like a little butterfly whisperer. <laughs> yes, I love that. All right, what else did you bring, Dr. Barnhart? I brought a butterfly for you, too, my okay. friend. Okay, can't wait. This is a regal fritillary, and this is actually a species that's been proposed for endangered as, for listing as endangered. Whoa. And we've propagated these for a couple of years now partly for restoration on prairies, but also okay. for display in the butterfly house. Very cool, very neat. They feed on violets, and they depend on intact prairie, which is actually a very complex ecosystem. It's not just a grassland. Mm -hmm. The females live for the whole summer, and they require a constant parade of, of wildflowers to feed on mm -hmm. to get nectar. And then, of course, they need the violets in the spring. Yeah. And you're going to need to put your finger in front of I know. <laughs> like, I just wanted to keep growing, well, honestly. Right your, <laughs> That's okay. Shirt. She can go up So when shirt. people come into the Butterfly House, do they get education like this? We try. And yeah. uh, we have docents that are well aware of the facts and figures about butterflies, so they're available to answer questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are guided tours, and we get a lot of school groups coming through. Church yeah, groups yeah. that's so amazing. I imagine. Okay, you guys, if people want more information about the Butterfly House or about tomorrow's event, how can they get that? So you can go to friendsofthegarden.org or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're always posting yes. uh, information on there and uh, just kind of showing everything that's going on. There's a okay. Here's another cutie. Oh, look at that. This wow. is a caterpillar of spicebush swallowtail. Ah, okay. And if you want these beautiful things in your yard, you have to plant spicebush or sassafras. Okay, good to know. Native plants. Very cool. All right. Well, Gage, Dr. Barnhart, thank you both so much. Super excited for this event. And we hope are to so see you cool. there. I know. Absolutely. Both of ours are doing so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Pleasure. <laughs> All right.